This is another question about naming organic molecules. Reading the question tells us that we need to determine the IUPAC name for both of the given molecules. In planning your approach, outline the main steps. Find the longest chain of carbon atoms and name it accordingly. Number the chain so that the first substituent has the lowest numerical value and add the substituents as prefixes in alphabetical order. To solve the problem, Start at one end of the molecule and number. One, two, three, four. You can get a longer chain, four, five, in this direction, and five, six, seven, even longer this way. However, the longest chain of all is actually six, seven, eight carbons long. So, delete the numbers that aren't part of this chain. Because it's eight carbons long, we'll use oct to describe the molecule. And because it's a saturated hydrocarbon, in other words, it has no double or triple bonds or any other functional groups, it's an alkane, suffix A-N-E. Now identify the substituents. There's a methyl group at the 3 position and a methyl group at the 4 position and an ethyl group at the 5 position. We then combine all this information to give us the systematic name. 5-ethyl-3,4-dimethyloctane. Note that the alphabetic ordering disregards the di, so dimethyl, trimethyl, etc. always appear in the same position as methyl alone. The second compound can be attacked in the same way as the first. Number 1, 2, 3, clearly not the longest chain, as in the other direction we can get to 3, 4, 5 carbon atoms, so we should remove the earlier mistake. In fact, examining the chain we've numbered, we'll see we've numbered it from the wrong end. Why? Well, the position of the double bond takes precedent, and we must minimize its number. As we've drawn it, it appears in the 3 position, but if we remove this numbering and start from the other end, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you can see the double bond is now in the 2 position. Since we have 5 carbons, we use pent, and because the molecule has a double bond, it's a pentene. The double bond is at the second carbon, and there's a methyl group at the 4 position. So we can combine all this information and name the molecule, 4-methyl-2-pentene. Finally, check that you've named both the molecules, and that you haven't made a simple mistake, like numbering from the wrong end, or missing a substituent. We haven't, so we're done.